When you have difficulty managing your emotions, it can feel like you're losing control of your whole life. Anger, hurt, grief, worry, and other intense feelings can be overwhelming. And how you react to these emotions can impact your ability to maintain relationships, succeed at work, or even think straight. If you find it difficult to understand, express, and process intense emotions, and most of us do, we have some helpful information for you today. Hi, welcome to Your Great Journey. Each week, we offer you brief tips, techniques, and insights to help you move in positive directions and master big change. For more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W E T W A R E M E D I A.com. In this episode, we're sharing an excerpt from the popular audiobook, Calming the Emotional Storm Using Dialectical Behavior Therapy Skills to Manage and Balance Your Life by mental health therapist Sherry Van Dyke. Sherry draws from her extensive experience teaching dialectical behavior therapy skills, or DBT, to offer a comprehensive audiobook that offers an abundance of effective strategies to manage intense emotions. In this episode, Sherry discusses how faulty beliefs about emotions only make it more difficult for you to manage your emotions effectively. She shares some of the more common myths that people believe about the way they feel and why these beliefs are incorrect. Exercise. Observing your thoughts and emotions. Take a few minutes now to practice the following mindfulness exercise. Set a timer for no more than five minutes. Sitting or lying down in a comfortable position, begin to notice your internal experience. Mentally notice whatever thoughts, emotions, or physical sensations come into your awareness. Label whatever you notice as a thought, emotion, or physical sensation. For example, if you have the thought that this is a waste of time, label it as a thought. If you notice you're feeling anxious, label this as an emotion. Observe and describe to yourself whatever you happen to notice without judging the experience. You might notice that the same thoughts keep coming up over and over again. Simply acknowledge these thoughts each time, labeling them non-judgmentally. Continue to observe and describe your experience in this way until the timer goes off. Doing this exercise will assist you in differentiating between your thoughts and emotions, accepting these as just thoughts and emotions, and learning to identify your interpretations. Once you become more comfortable with it, feel free to increase the amount of time for this practice. 10 Myths About Emotions if you have faulty beliefs about emotions, it will only make it more difficult for you to manage your emotions effectively. The following are some of the more common myths that people believe about the way they feel. Each myth is followed by a brief discussion of why this belief is faulty. 1. There is a right way and a wrong way to feel in every situation. This is untrue. Everyone experiences different emotions about the same event, because their interpretations of that event will vary. Your emotional response will also depend on many other factors, such as your involvement in the situation, your relationship to others involved, your state of mind before the event took place, and so on. It's important to remember that emotions are not good or bad, right or wrong. However you feel in a situation is the way you should feel. 2. It's not good or healthy to feel angry. Myth. Anger is a natural human emotion. It serves a purpose, as we discussed earlier, and so therefore it is good and it is healthy. What may not be positive or healthy is the way you're expressing that emotion. 3. Happy or emotionally healthy people don't experience painful emotions. This is not true. Even the happiest people have pain in their lives sometimes. Life is all about the good and the bad, pain and joy. 
life is naturally going to have painful moments. And any person is going to experience pain as a result of those moments, regardless of how happy or well-adjusted the person is. 4. Feeling sad, or another emotion, is weak. Again, this is a myth. Emotions arise for a reason, to motivate you to change something, to help you communicate, and so on. The emotion is normal and healthy. Your response to the emotion might not be healthy, and if that's the case, that's what you need to focus on, without self-judgment determining what would be a healthier course of action that could help you cope with this intense emotion. 5. Painful emotions are destructive. False. It's not the emotion that's destructive. It's how you choose to act because of the emotion. For example, feeling angry doesn't physically hurt you or anyone else. It's when you choose to act in a physically violent way because of the anger that people get hurt. 6. If others don't approve of how you feel, you shouldn't feel this way. As noted in myth number 1, people will feel differently about a situation depending on their interpretation of the events and other factors. There is no right or wrong way to feel, ever. If others seem to judge you for the feeling you're experiencing, remind yourself that the way you feel is just the way you feel, and it's okay. 7. Painful emotions are bad and need to be fixed. Another myth. Painful emotions are painful, but that doesn't make them bad. Because all of our emotions serve a function, I could actually argue that all emotions are good. They come up for a reason. Granted, once you realize why an emotion is there, you likely don't want that uncomfortable emotion hanging around. There are things you can do to help yourself with this. For now, simply recognize that no emotion needs to be fixed. 8. Being emotional means being out of control. Not necessarily true. Perhaps right now, whenever you're emotional, you are out of control. But that's what this book is all about. How to manage your emotions more effectively so that you remain in control even when you experience strong emotions. 9. It's not healthy to express your emotions. Quite the opposite. It's not healthy if you don't express your emotions. Expressing your emotions in an assertive way is very healthy. Failing to express your emotions or expressing them in an aggressive or passive way is not effective and can even be harmful. 10. Painful emotions will never go away if you don't act to make them go away. Another myth. The truth is that painful emotions often go away without us having to do anything about them. Trying to make them go away actually keeps them hanging around longer. Wrapping up. This chapter covered a lot of information about emotions. By now, you should understand that it's important to be able to name your emotions and that all emotions serve a purpose. You've also learned about the connection between how we feel, think, and behave. All of this information will be helpful as you begin to work on regulating your emotional responses. You should continue to practice the mindfulness exercises presented in this chapter. When you think you're well-practiced in naming your emotions and feel you're ready, you can move on to the next chapter. There, you'll start to look at some skills that can help you manage your emotions more effectively. Thanks for listening to this excerpt from the audiobook, Calming the Emotional Storm. You can purchase the complete audiobook from any major online audiobook retailer. If you'd like more information, please visit yourgreatjourney.com. Please be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And if you like the show, please rate it and review it. And please share it with friends who might also enjoy it. Thanks for listening. Your Great Journey is brought to you by audiobook publisher Wetware Media. Wetware Media publishes a wide variety of personal transformation audiobooks available from any major online audiobook retailer. For more information, please visit wetwaremedia.com. That's W-E-T-W-A-R-E-M-E-D-I-A dot com.